I will be reviewing from the Hammer Films World's Greatest Mego Monster series, The Plague of the Zombies Zombie 8 Inch Action Figure. I gotta say, on the general release, I do like the card. I think they did a nice job with the color, as well as the graphics that you see in the back. It looks like they took it off the DVD, if I took a guess. Do like it, I can't complain about the graphics. I like how they use the space. I like the front, how they have the zombie, but sort of like drawn on blood splattered. Looks really good. I gotta say, they did a nice job with this one compared to other cards I've seen them do. There's also the tops version of this figure. Now I'm looking at it, I really like how they did the tops release of this zombie figure. And already I can see the card is just way different. They use different colors. The face of the zombie this time is a different color. Pale green. It's nice. Also too, the tops release has 26 points of articulation. Then the regular release is the 14 points of articulation, which is the regular Mego body that they've been releasing since 2018 that uses those elastic bands that hold the figure together in general. The clothing is different. The tops one, they looks like they did a more burlapy. It's a little more film accurate except for the collar of the outfit. I'm looking at the paint app. I slightly a bit like the tops one better, but still the general release one, the paint apps are fantastic. In the back of the card, you could see that they included in the tops release the bad guy. I think he was the priest as opposed to the regular release, he's not included. Plus the bottom of the card, the item number on the two of them are different. If I was a big fan of the Plague of the Zombies film, I would definitely get the Topps version because it's a little more accurate. I like the card. It includes the bad guy in the back. It's going to cost you a little more money. But still, the regular release, if you don't want to spend the money, it's not as accurate. You're still getting a good deal. If you get either one, I think you'll still be good. If you're that particular hardcore collector and you're a huge fan of this film, then I'd recommend the Topps one. You're going to be really pleased with that one. I gotta say for starters, the head sculpt, Sean Sampson hit this out of the ballpark. He did a great job. I gotta give it to Migo. Looks, let's compare the actor from the movie. You could see it's pretty close. And then again, they hit it out of the ballpark with this paint app. I remember when I saw the top, when they had it on the site, I said, oh, that looks really cool. Are they gonna really give me that paint app I see there? And they delivered. I gotta give it up. Migo definitely put it up two or three notches with this paint job on this figure alone. The outfit, I gotta say, definitely gives me that monk in the monastery look, and I definitely really like it. The seamstress, Pandora Taggart, I hope I'm saying her name right, did a great job with the outfit. Also, if you look in the back, you could take off the outfit with a Velcro. It doesn't have shoes, but you know, he's a zombie, he ain't gonna feel pain on his feet or anything. This figure from the Hammer films, The Plague of the Zombies, is definitely a must have for any horror collection. Also, Mego fans in general. I like Mego that they're picking these characters that other companies don't do, and they pick some figures that aren't normally available, which is fantastic that they do. For a cloth dress figure, you cannot beat the price. It has a good likeness to Barnabas Collin from that old soap opera. This is definitely a great kit base or custom project. Who's, who's that might do? I'm in the middle of a review. No, no, no!